In this movie, I want to show you how you can create a chat GPT-like application with Java and JavaFX using the Langchain 4J library. Langchain 4J for Java is a library which brings uh, large language model capabilities uh, to Java. Langchain 4J is an open source project. You can find it on GitHub. So the idea is that it wants to supercharge your capabilities and your applications with the power of large language models. You can find all the information here. You can find sources, you can find examples. You can also find a lot of uh, presentations already about it uh, on YouTube and on other media. I have seen a talk by Lisa Raas at DevOx last October. All the demos that she has given are part of the Langchain 4J examples project, which is again a repository you can find on GitHub. So it has multiple example applications with different providers of chat based large language models like OpenAI, but also Azure has them, uh, Google has them, different use cases, different frameworks. So a lot of uh, examples here. I added one which is uh, with JavaFX. So it uh, provides you with a JavaFX interface uh, interacting with OpenAI using the Langchain 4J library. And that's the small project I want to show you in this video. As you can see in my uh, IntelliJ, I have this uh, project checked out. So it's a project Langchain 4J examples. You see all these directories here and each directory is a different use case or framework or example. And the one I want to show you is this one, JavaFX example. Let's look in the sources, source code of this. So this is the application, as you can see, the application has some JavaFX imports because it extends from a JavaFX application. It has an observable list of search actions. Uh, let me first show you the applications, by the way. So this is the application. So what it has is a little uh, input box for your question. It has a history of the questions which were asked and here you have a text area where the uh, answer which is being streamed back by the uh, search provider will uh, give you the answer. So uh, let's look up. Uh, what can you tell me about Java FX search? And it's a software platform to create desktop applications and some of the key features. So this is a pretty good answer, very fast. And you see in this uh, grid, in this table, that we have a list of all the questions being asked, which is now one. And if the answer uh, was completely received with the finished flag and also the answer. So ID here is that you can have a list of questions. This is just an example implementation, of course. So very basic styling. The idea that I wanted to achieve here is that you can stream answers to a text area, um, that you have a list of questions that you can also build up a conversation. Um, and for that to be uh, possible, all the code is here. The styling, I leave it up to you uh, because of course that depends on the kind of application you want to build. So back to the source code. Let's look at the search action. So what is the ID of the search action? It has a timestamp, the question being ans asked, then the answer that is received and a flag to uh, see if the complete answer was received with a finished flag. And when we look further, we have also a panned answer because uh, a chat system will give us back the answer piece by piece so we can append it uh, to uh, the already received answer. Now the whole logic to interact with, in this case, OpenAI is in the answer service class. So what we have here is um, some initialization which is done. So we have a streaming chat language model streaming because we want to receive the answer bit by bit uh, as it is ready on the provider side. And it's uh, a chat model. So we really want to chat with uh, this large language model and receive answers based on it. What we also use here is chat memory. So uh, the last 10 messages are stored so that we can really build up a conversation and the chat system will give us answers also based on the previous questions. 
And then if we start a question, um, then we have a response handler and then the assistant will do the chat. So it will ask the question um, and then the streamed uh, response will be handled by the response handler. So we can take a look at the response handler. So what it does is on each piece of answer that is received, it is appended to the uh, answer that we already got. And on complete, we can uh, say that on our system that the answer is completely received here. We will also do that on an error. But by the way, I didn't see an error yet here. Um, because we are going from Java backend system handling the, the reply, and we have a JavaFX frontend uh, platform run later is used to be sure that we don't have any thread conflicts between what the backend is doing and the frontend. Okay. Um, what else can I show you here? So, and then we have the chat app. So we have a list of all the questions and answers that we have already handled. We have a table view. We have a text area for the answer being streamed. Let's look at the text area. Where is it? The last answer. Ah, here. here we bind the text property of the last answer to uh, our action uh, and get the answer property. We also have this here. So um, to inform the user of what is happening during the start of the application, we already ha also have an initializing search engine. So that's not really asking a question to the provider, but it's uh, to show you the user that we are still initializing the application, which goes by the way, very fast. So let's go back to the application and try uh, the memory function. So um, if you ask, give me a random girl name get Evelyn give me a random boy name and now we just ask it tell me a story with a boy and girl using the names you have given before so we don't give it the names back in the question we just asked the system, tell me a story uh, with these names. So to show you that it has the history of the previous questions, you see that it's using once upon a time, Evelyn and Landon met in a small town in the countryside. So it really uses the answers of the previous questions to be able to also answer uh, this question. And it's a story, so they lived happily ever after their love blossoming like the flowers in the fields they roam together wow so this is a very small application a java fix application interacting with uh, openai just to show you that you can stream an answer that you received through langchain4j to a java fx user interface